Hi, this is Raman, your tutor from Alberta Real Estate School. In today's video, we will take a look at payout penalties. This is an important topic that we need to understand for the mortgage exams. So let's dive in. Let's take a look at mortgage payout penalties. Today, we will take a look at the difference between three-month interest penalty versus interest rate differential penalty. So first of all, what is a mortgage payout penalty? A mortgage payout penalty is a fee that the mortgage lender will charge if somebody breaks their mortgage contract or they transfer their mortgage to another lender before the end of the term or somebody pays back their entire mortgage before the end of the term. So generally, when somebody gets a mortgage, for example, a five-year mortgage, the lender would expect that person to pay the mortgage off or outstanding balance off at the end of the term, so at the end of the five years. But let's say somebody wanted to break that mortgage and transfer to a new lender because they're getting a better rate, interest rates may have dropped. So in that case, in order to break that mortgage, they will have to pay a penalty to the lender, and that's called the mortgage payout penalty. Now, there are two ways to calculate the payout penalties. One is three month interest penalty, and then the second one is interest rate differential penalty. In a three month interest penalty, the lender will charge three months worth of interest as the penalty for breaking the mortgage. This tends to happen when it's a variable rate mortgage, but if somebody has a fixed rate mortgage, then the lender will charge greater of the two amounts. So depending on which amount comes out to be higher, that's the one that the lender will charge. So interest rate differential penalty is where they will take a look at what the interest rate was when somebody got the mortgage and what today's interest rate is, and they'll charge the difference for that for the remaining part of the term. So in this video, we'll take a look at both of these penalties, how we calculate these penalties. So let's take a look at an example. For example, John Smith is interested in refinancing his house as the mortgage rates have dropped. He has $200,000 remaining on his mortgage. He is two years into a five-year fixed-term mortgage. When he purchased his property, the interest rate was 5.5%, and today's three-year interest rate is 3.5%. As per his mortgage contract, the lender will charge him three-year interest rate or interest rate differential, whichever is higher. How much payout penalty will John have to pay to break his mortgage contract? So in this case, basically what we're looking at here is uh, this person has a five-year term and they want to break the term after two years. So they want to refinance the mortgage and move to a different lender who is offering them a better interest rate. So this is a scenario that we tend to see often. Okay, so let's take a look at how we would go about calculating the penalties. So first of all, the mortgage balance in this case is 200000 The interest rate, previous interest rate was 5.5%, and then the current interest rate is 3.5%, and they are two years into a five-year term. So these are some of the variables that we need to know before we can do the calculation. In order to calculate the three-month interest rate penalty, the formula would be we take the mortgage balance and we multiply that by the annual interest rate. So in this case, by 5.5%, and we divide it by 12. So that gives us the monthly amount for one month, and then we multiply that by three months. So this is the formula. So let's take a look at the calculation here. So for the calculation, the first step would be we would take our $200,000 and we will multiply that by 5.5%, which gives us $11,000. So this is the interest that the lender would charge for the entire year. Now, the second step here would be we take the $11,000 and we divide that by 12 months so that we get the interest rate for one month. So in this case, that gives us 916.67. Third step would be we take the one month interest and we multiply that by three, and that gives us 2750. So that's our 
total penalty that we would have to pay. So in this case, 2750 is the three-month interest rate penalty that somebody would have to pay if they have a variable rate mortgage. But in the question that we are looking at, in this case, they would have to pay three-month interest or IRD, whichever one is higher. So now we have an answer for what the three-month interest penalty would be. So let's take a look at what the IRD would be. So interest rate differential or IRD calculation. So for this, first of all, the formula is we take the mortgage balance and we multiply that by annual interest rate differential. What this means is we will take a look at the previous interest rate and then we subtract the current interest rate. So in this case, we have 5.5 was the previous interest rate and three and a half is the current interest rate. So 5.5 minus 3.5, which gives us 2%. And then we take that and we multiply by the remaining term. So let's take a look at the calculation here. So first up here would be to calculate the interest rate differential. So in this case, we take the 5.5 and we subtract the three and a half from it. So we get 2%. So that's our interest rate differential. Now we take that amount and we multiply that by the outstanding balance on the mortgage. So in this case, the outstanding balance is 200,000. So we take 200,000, multiply that by 2%, and that gives us $4,000. Step three is we take the $4,000 and we divide it by 12 to get the monthly amount. Next, we will multiply that by a remaining term in months. So in this case, there are three years outstanding on the mortgage, which means we take three times 12, which gives us 36 months. So in this case, the answer here is $12,000. So the penalty as per IRD calculations will be $12,000. So in this case, we can see that the IRD here is higher. So the lender would charge $12,000 up to John in order to break the mortgage because it's higher than the three month interest amount. So basically, generally, when somebody has a fixed term mortgage, the lender will either charge three month interest rate penalty or interest rate differential, depending on whichever one is higher. So in this case, definitely the $12,000 is higher. So lender will go with $12,000. So let's take a look at the same calculation in a slightly different way here. So this is an easier way to do the calculation. So if they give you the number of years, so you get three year term. So instead of dividing that into months, what we can do is uh, we, this is the same exact calculation that we have previously. But in this case, what we have done is we have done the step one, which is calculating our interest rate differential. And then we get the $4,000. Uh, we multiply the 200,000 by 2%, which gives us a $4,000. So in this case, instead of converting this to months, we just went straight. We multiplied it by three because we know there's three years outstanding. Here's something to keep in mind. Mind. If they give you an even number in terms of the number of years, so let's say they say there's two years outstanding or three years outstanding on the mortgage, then you can just take the yearly amount and multiply that by three. But if they say there are 34 months outstanding or two and a half years outstanding, something like that where it's not, uh, you're not given the number of years that you can use here, you can then convert that into months. But this is an easier calculation where you just basically calculate the differential here and then multiply that by number of years outstanding. So let's say there were two years outstanding, we would just multiply 4,000 by two and that would give us the amount. So in this case, the answer is exactly the same. So we get $4,000, we multiply it by three and we get 12,000. So the lender will charge $12,000, which is the higher penalty of the two. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It made sense and you have an easier time calculating the payout penalties. If you would like some help in preparing for your mortgage exams or your real estate exams, I invite you to visit our website, www.alpararealestateschool.com, or you can give us a call at 587-936-7779. Have a wonderful day.